What's up, ACM fam? I am Nasir. And I'm Mika. And we are back with another video. Yo, we doing a cooking video. People been asking for it for so long. And so we decided, yo, we have to do another one. And this one is going to be... Mm, Your so favorite. Good. My favorite. <laughs> he begged uh -huh. me to make this, okay? Because the girl did not want to, really. And it's been so long, too. So it's like, oh, I'm about to grow. <laughs> yeah, she's making a... Hot, hot. Yes. No chicken. Minus the chicken. Minus the chicken, but it's gonna be just as delicious. Let me tell y'all because mm, when it come out, the crust on top be all <laughs> brown. It's a little bit of okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. But yeah, so let's get to it. Before you go on, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, like you always do. Hit the bell because if you know your lovers want to see our next video and comment below let us know what you want to cook yeah you want us to cook yeah and i'm telling you the queen chef <laughs> got it <laughs> she always got me so let's get to it queen all right so these are all of our ingredients we have bella shrooms mm. uh red potatoes yellow onion celery kale for the seasonings we have sea salt thyme, mm. sage, and parsley. Yes. And we also have some um, homemade pie crust. I just planned. This is a... That's <laughs> the more box. This, Vegan, no. Yes, this is by Simple Truth, and it is surprisingly, um, well, a lot of Simple Truth stuff is vegan. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is a vegan. So, um, oh, for the liquid, and to thicken it up, we're gonna use unsweetened almond milk, veggie broth, and also some flour. Is okay? Okay. Okay. Now, before we go on, tell me, what's your secret to make your pot pie taste so good? I mean, of course, it's just the flavors, you know what I'm saying? The flavors. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you gotta get the flavors down pat. Once you got the flavors, you know what I'm saying? You're good. And then, you know, like that. All right, you know what I'm saying? So, definitely. Let's get going. All right, so first, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna turn turn on the stove to get that hot, to get the pot, you know, kind of like low to medium. Well, let me get it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah. You, 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 you know what I'm saying? I forget, I forget. All right, so don't put it on too hot. He uh, tends to put on the fire <laughs> way too hot and he burns stuff. Okay. I'll put it all the way up to the top. Yeah, that is a no because we don't want it to. But we don't want to cook our our lovely vegetables at a high point like that yeah. heat. Like we don't want the heat so hot. See, right? Because when she had me cook something, and I cooked it low. It came out so perfect. Yeah, same. Yeah. So you have to be patient with your food and love on your food. Okay. Cool. Ooh. All right. So. so the pot on. Yeah. So when that gets a little hot, then you want to add the oil because. You don't want to add your oil in first and then the, you know, turn on the heat because your oil, you don't want your oil to burn, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, once you, that. right, once you have a pot hot, when you put the oil in, it's, it's going to get hot real quick, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So, y'all need to be putting the oil in first and all that, okay? Cool. So, we're going to prep our stuff so it'll be easier for us to just flow, okay? All right. You always want to go ahead and cut all your produce first, okay? Get that out the way. That way, yeah. you know, you can just keep it moving. You know mm. what I'm saying? Mm, mm, mm. All right, so that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna... Cut some vegetables. Yes. All right, let's get this other view going. All right, so on your celery, okay? Uh, you wanna cut off the white part. We don't wanna use that. We can use this in our veggie broth. Um, sometimes that part tends to be a little bitter, okay? Mm. Okay. Okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, when you cook celery, does it take out that uh, celery ish taste? What's the celery ish taste? I don't know. I love vegetables. I don't know how to answer <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. um, I mean, you can tell that it's celery in there, but it's not like overpowering. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's just like an added, you know, just an added uh, ingredient right. that kind of help boost the flavor. Understand. Yes, so I'm just gonna go down and let it like this. I actually need another knife, guys, because yeah, um, 
my knives got messed up. <laughs> so, this is how you want to do it. Just cut it up. The chicken at all uh, part uh, in this. Alright, so I'm almost done Sorry. cutting up. So should I start this over here? Yes. One second. Alright. Get those flavors in there. Mm. It already smells good. Yeah, it does. Oh, you cannot say vegetables don't smell good when you cook them. Because they do. Yes. They just smell so good. So good. And so what you gonna do with the potatoes once you finish cutting them? We're gonna put the red potatoes in with the celery and the onions. Let me know what the celery and the onions are looking like. Has it start has the onion start to look translucent a little? Um, some of them. Okay. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's actually perfect. Ah, yes. So if you want to finish, wait, 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 okay, okay. I'm celebrating. Oh. I've cooked some perfect celebrate onions. <laughs> oh, okay, that's wonderful. <clears throat> yeah, thank you, thank you. I appreciate Big accomplishment. It. I've been working hard for this. <laughs> Man, let me tell you, my celery and onions. Here, let me get my spotlight. I'm working hard for this, y'all. My celery and onions, she said, is perfect. So for her to say my celery and onions is perfect, mm. Why do you act like you don't know how to cook? I don't. <sighs> I don't, y'all. You know how to cook, boo. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take our seasons over there and go ahead and throw them in there with the celery and onions before we add anything else to the pot, okay? Cool. All right, check me out over here. All right, so what's going on over here? Okay, so our uh, onions are starting to get a little translucent, so let's go ahead and add in our seasons now. Mm -hmm. Take that out. All right, so we have some thyme. Okay. Okay. Always need extra thyme? Yes. <laughs> uh, we have some sea salt here, mm -hmm. and uh, you guys, even though I'm not saying the amount, you know, I have like approximately, you know, 
one tablespoon or one tablespoon or something down below. But you always want to start off with a little taste and then you can add as much, you know, season to taste, okay? You want your food to taste good. All right, cool. All right, so we have the dry thyme in here. Mm -hmm. I love, I mean, no, this is sage. Oh, okay, so first time so and then sage. Yes, well, it don't matter what it's saying. Oh. And then I have some uh, dry parsley. Okay. All right, cool. So, I'm gonna give this a nice stir. Okay, take a look. Oh, this smells so heavenly with that sage mm -hmm. and that thyme. Uh, you can also add some onion powder in here and garlic powder. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm good with this. You know what I'm saying? I may add a little onion powder in here. Now she say I know how to cook, but let me tell y'all, I would never be able to put seasonings together like she does. Like save time. I don't know what those taste like. <laughs> so I, by now you should know. No. Hey, this is just a excuse. It is not just a excuse. Whatever. All right, so we turn up what medium? Um, I put it. Yeah. Well, I, it's still like low to medium. Okay. Cool. We'll get you a new stove. Alright, so since we have that in there, we can go ahead and add in our oh yeah, we can add in our potatoes, okay? Okay, cool. So, so like season this first then potatoes. Yep. Yeah, add that in. And uh I'm really not gonna use all of these potatoes. I'm not sure why I made so much. Mm. But we're gonna work it out. Just like a pot pie already. You know what I mean? Like, for real. Y'all yeah, won't be able to do that from just season. Yes, you can. No. Anybody can do this. It's so easy. Okay. Okay, so I think that's enough red potatoes that's in there. So what I'm gonna do next is, uh, so we're just gonna let that kind of just do its thing right now. Mm -hmm. You can just kind of turn it close to low so you don't burn anything. Right. Because while we do that, um, I do have to cut my um, my kale and just cut up my mushrooms uh, some. Okay, so for our kale, okay. um, you know, this has already been washed, of course. But uh, you just, you know, take the stand off. So oh, even though, they be putting water on it because this is a uh, bunch of kale, fresh kale. Yep. You still should wash it when you get home. You gotta wash every single piece of produce. Okay, that includes your onion. Uh -huh. Even though the onion has the you know the peel on the outside, it's still good to wash all your produce. So we got our kale. You know what I'm saying? We love kale. But I think you remember, I remember you telling me that we always put that in last, right? Yes, this goes in last. Okay, cool. I just want to go ahead and cut this stuff up. Mm. And you know, I can give the potatoes some time to kind of do a little more cooking in with the veggies right now. Now, how many types of different kale is there? Well, you know? I can't really say how many, but there's curly kale, there's mm -hmm. uh, lacento dino kale, which is like one of my favorites. Really? Uh, they have red kale, mm. and they have the kale where it's like not too curly. Right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay. know what they call that. Ah! You cut yourself? I cut my fingernail. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I was about to say, man, what I'm going to eat? So I just put it. <laughs> Honey, I don't know what you gonna eat. Uh, For the mushrooms, I really just kind of do like a roughly tear. Um, it ain't that serious. Comment below because this is my favorite meal right here. But if you want to be healthy, but you don't know how to, just ask us to cook your favorite meal in a vegan way. So we're about done with our shrooms here. Look, when I ask her to make something, I just let her make it her way because I'll be thinking of it a certain type of way. But whenever she make it her way, it'd be way better. Can y'all believe this man never had sausage and white gravy with biscuits? Ooh, but I guess that's like a, I, I guess that's really like a true southern thing. It, it is. 
Because because when I first mentioned it before I even made it for him, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some sausage and white gravy with some yeah. biscuits today for brunch. And he was like, what is that? Yeah. And I could not believe it. Yeah, like, and when, <laughs> when she made it, like, I be wanting it all the time. Like, that's something I can tell her, like, hey, can you please make a sausage and gravy? <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. We just had another day? Yes. Mm, so good. It all is right. a southern thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here you go, here. <laughs> all right, so we got all of our stuff that we need to cut. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and add in our liquid. So our liquid is going to be veggie broth, um, and we're gonna do some unsweetened almond milk and flour to thicken it up. So we want the the, the chicken, the, the pot pie, to have like a gravy on the inside, and yeah, we don't want it too yeah, thick. Definitely, I don't like we want it to be too saucy. thick. And Nah, I don't like yeah, that. we want to be saucy, okay? We like sauciness so we can. Yeah. Okay, shout. I agree. Oh, that's the camera. Oh, the camera. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put a little flour in here. Okay. I think that's like half a cup, okay, y'all? So this is for the pot pie gravy, kind of. Yeah, this is to make it thick. So I'm gonna mix it with some unsweetened almond. Okay? Cool, cool. I like the sauce. Oh, you know what? And we want to whisk it as we're pouring it in. So we have our flour. And uh, I'm going to start whisking. I'm going to pour this in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, can you use sweetened almond milk or just regular almond milk? And you want to use unsweetened because it some almond milk is like kind of sweet. Uh, okay. So we don't want our... <laughs> Pop out of these sweet for sure. I have to say though, this is probably like one of my favorite meals to eat, but yes. I guess it takes long. You know, it kind of takes long. Yeah, with yeah, like with the uh the dull part, you know, cutting it out and filling it and putting the dough on top. Cause you want the dough at the bottom and the top. That takes so long. Ooh, it tastes so good when you do it though. Who don't like that pie pie with the dough on bottom and top? Huh? <laughs> All right, so. The kind of cream there? Yep. All right, so we have our uh, veggie broth here. We didn't have any more homemade veggie broth this oh, time. Oh, I know, I'll have to make some. Yeah. So we just gonna use the whole carton. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So we're gonna go ahead and turn our heat up to medium. And so we'll be kind of cooking the potatoes now? Yeah, we're going to uh, bring this to a boil, okay. actually. We're gonna bring this to a boil. Mm -hmm. And then once the potatoes are tender, right. then we're gonna go ahead and add in our uh, thickener, okay? And okay. cook it a little bit longer just to kind of um, cook out that flour a little bit. Right. And then we're gonna add our kale and mushrooms. Then we're gonna fill our pots. I mean, our pans. Mmm. My stomach growling right now. <laughs> All right, so we'll go ahead and let this come to a boil. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, when our potatoes get a little tender, we'll be back to add in our thickener. And um, keep it moving, keep the show moving along. All right, so we back. She has the potatoes cooking. They about tender now. <laughs> so now what you gotta do for my favorite meal? What? <laughs> what you gotta do for my favorite meal, bro? <laughs> All right, so our uh, potatoes are like just about tender. So we don't want it to um we don't want the potatoes to overcook. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our flour with our unsweetened almond milk to give it like a creamy texture. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, follow me over here. All right, so we have, well, as you can see, our lovely, mm -hmm. all those seasons in there, okay? Already look good. Yeah, so we're gonna add in the cream. The cream. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so that's gonna turn into the pot pie color. Yes, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna get creamy. Ooh, look at that, show. It's gonna get a little thick, just a little. It's actually already starting to get thick. Yeah. See, yeah. see it? 
trying to stick into the thing here. So let's go ahead and add in our shrooms. Shrooms, Bella shrooms. <clears throat> and then some of our kale. Again, probably not gonna use all of this. So I wanna be able to taste all of the ingredients, okay? So when you're growing up, did you ever used to eat Popeyes? Yes. Um, I don't recall anybody ever cooking it, but me and my grandma we used to love going to KFC yeah. and getting the chicken pop out there. I don't know, it used to be like yeah. the best thing they had at KFC. It was those chicken pop pies, little small ones. Yeah. Um, so, I agree. Yes. So you just put the kale in there? Yes, I just put the kale in there. You see how it's already, oh. it has thickened up that quick, guys. And uh, sometimes, you know, if, if it seems like it's getting too thick for you, you know, go ahead and add in a little bit of water or you can add in some uh, some of the almond milk just by itself or veggie broth, okay? Just to, uh, so it won't be too thick. I think I'm gonna add in just a little bit of almond milk to this and then kind of just let this low simmer while we cut out our dough for our mini papas. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna get these Popeyes ready. I'm going to try my hardest, my greatest attempt at making the perfect circle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? You can just chase it. <laughs> <laughs> so what we really going to do, I'm just going to wash my hands one more time because you know that corona going on. <laughs> we just going to dab it with a little flour, y'all. I think that's enough. All right. So I am going to roll it out. Let me see, look, I messed up already. What you mess up? It didn't roll out right. Why are your hands wet? Let me do it. Uh-huh. You're not supposed to, your hands don't need to be wet, babe. Oh. Uh -huh. Let me get a paper towel. Clearly. Help me. Come on, man. I tried. I tried. See, that's what. See, she said I know how to cook, but when I do. <laughs> no, that ain't got to do no cooking. You just did. Yeah. All right. So my mom is just like oh. outlining this. Oh. All right, but I got it. I can go out the bottom. Okay. So boom, just like that. So all you need to do really. If you ask me, put right around that circle. Mmm, it's good. Oh, I thought you did something wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is on tea. Let me tell you. Put right around that circle, y'all. Uh, you want to try to get as many circles out of this small, big circle that you can. And voila, we have a perfect circle for the bottom of the Popeye. Of the Popeye. Make sure you don't have too much, uh, what? too much flour on the, so, you know, okay. kind of what I did. Not in here. <laughs> see, I don't know how to cook. But whatever. <laughs> so y'all. So, yeah. All right, so once you have that in there, then what do you do, babe? You kind of, yeah. You know, smush it up? Uh-huh. You don't have to bring it all the way up, but, you know, kind of smush it some, mm. press it out so it's not too thick. I'm just Because the thicker the dough, the longer it's going to take to get ready. And oh, I don't want that. I'm hungry, okay? I'm about to smush it out all the way. You going to smush it up? <laughs> <laughs> Like that. Like that. Cool. Like that. And like this and like that and like that and like this and like that and like this and like, like, like this and like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get you on camera by yourself. How about that? Cool. Okay. Let's do my thing. I'm right. ready. <laughs> Let's go. All right. This is Chef Nishia here. What am I doing? I am cutting out the circle too. <laughs> My famous pot pies <laughs> that my wife cooked. So <laughs> make sure oh my God. make sure you cut it right around 
the aluminum foil pan. Perfect circle, y'all. Because when you cut a perfect circle, you get a perfect pop pop. Take your time. That's what it's all about. Take your time. Make sure your food good. Make sure it did it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you finished? I'm finished with that one. What you like about Popeyes so much? My Popeyes. I mean, for one thing, your Popeyes got that flavor. So. Got that flavor. <laughs> <laughs> but I think when I, I think it's one of those meals that remind you like a homey meal. Mm -hmm. That's good. When you was younger. That's why I think I like it really. Um, go ahead and do. Oh, just cut another one. Mm-hmm. Because I'm about to start filling these bad boys. Well, I do like this. Mm -hmm. Now I get another one right there. Yeah, I right do. Oh! Hey. That's Girl. why I love her, y'all. She's so smart. <laughs> She's so smart, bro. Why? Thank you. Mm. So I yield. Not only so is she I beautiful. Do. That's so smart. Huh. You call me smart. <laughs> <laughs> so when you fill these, don't fill it up too high because when it gets, you know, in the oven, we don't want it to boil over and spill out. Right. She has the beautiful Popeyes filled with my favorite stuffing. So she's gonna put on these tops. Let's get a close up look. All right, so what we got going on over here, Queen? All right, so we got our, we're putting our tops on here. Oh. Okay, Ooh. when we do it, just put like One two minute. slit. Oh, two? Two? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is just gonna be so good, y'all. And then you can, you can do like this with um, a fork, kind of go around it, just to make sure it's secured on top. Ah, I see, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other ones. Mm. Almost ready. Which two of these is mine? Neither. <laughs> oh, that's not even fair. <laughs> Neither. That's not even fair. I just play that. Whatever which one you want because they all use. Okay, so we have that. And then, I'm gonna put this in our oven, which has been preheated to 380. Um, we don't want it too high, too high, okay. Right, and as you can see, she is checking to see if these Popeyes are ready, if they finished, are you gonna let me eat finally? <laughs> this is what we do. We chill, have fun. Got the queen on his bed. You over here eating. <laughs> I can't believe her. She told me to talk. So, I cannot see that she eating. <laughs> Oh my god, bruh, don't do that. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. Uh, mm -hmm. Alright. Cheers. Oh, good. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Oh, that crust is so flaky, y'all. Yes, it is. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I wish I could hear the sizzle. Yeah, it's, it's, please blow it because you know you tip. I know I used to burn my mouth all the time when I was a child. And yeah, this is so hot. Please don't splash on me and burn me. Y'all see that smoke? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I love that right. oh, smell. Yeah, bro. All right, let's go. Mm. 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 My favorite, y'all. Mm, so good. Hi, <laughs> Google. <laughs> you gotta know the art of hot eating hot food. Bruh, it's gonna make. Mm. Mm. Burn my tongue. That's good. Well, I'm telling you, when I was younger, I used to eat them as soon as they come out the oven. Two ways to be so hot. Mm. You gotta say, <laughs> you gotta blow. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go ball open at the I can't do that. <laughs> I want to enjoy like everybody. I don't want to put it in my mouth and then be like, oh. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take, take another, another bite. bite. <laughs> you can copy it off me. <laughs> no, for real, that's how connected we be. Like, we'd be thinking the same thing, and one of us is saying, and be like, Get out of my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I did. Mm. I'm ready. How much? Well, I'm about to go ahead and eat both of mine. And mm -hmm. we're not doing a month thing for this one. Ooh, but, I gotta get this piece off me. My bad. <laughs> but, yo, mm -hmm. this was fun cooking with y'all. Mm -hmm. Definitely leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Yes. I thank my queen here for making my favorite meal. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I am spoiled. And it's the truth. <laughs> and she's spoiled, but she don't want to. But, that's how we do, y'all. <laughs> Like and subscribe and come in like you see and um make, <laughs> make sure y'all check out the recipe down below. Alright. For, for this for this right here. Cool. And um enjoy. Enjoy life. Oh, if you guys have any requests that you guys want us to cook. Yes. I'm telling y'all. Uh, just let us know. Better get even, it in. Even if it's like your favorite meat dish. You know, if you want us to veganize it, Ooh. give us that challenge. I bet you will pass it. Yeah, we will pass it. Yeah, yeah definitely. We'll, we'll pass it with flying stars and colors, whatever they say. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, yo, I am Nasir. And I'm Vika. Peace.